Before we dive right into creating tasks, let's install and set up Shield, which will keep our application secured from common web attacks such as cross site request forgery. If you are coming from Adonis JS4, this used to be installed out of the box, but with Adonis JS5, we have to install it ourselves. npm install at Adonis JS slash shield. Then we'll install the alpha version. Once installed, we need to set it up with the invoke command node is invoke at Adonis JS slash shield. We will choose to show the instruction in the terminal. Next, we need to register the middleware inside the kernel.ts file. It must be added after the body parser middleware. Adonis slash addons slash shield middleware. Now we can move on to creating tasks. First, let's define the routes. I'm going to get rid of all this. Then I'll update the home route to be tax controller dot index. Every of our task application activities will be done on the home page. So it will contain the form for creating a new task. Let's add another route to process the form. Route.post, which will be to slash tasks and tasks controller dot store. Next, let's create the tasks controller. I'm going to clear this out. Node is make colon controller tasks. We can leave out the controller part as Adonis.js will be smart enough to add it for us. So let's create the index method. Return view dot render tax slash index. Let's update the index view to include the form. The action will be to the slash tasks route. The form is going to have just one field, which will be for the title. The name will be title. I will give you the class of input. Let's add a placeholder, which will say what needs to be done. Then we'll have the submit button. Let's check it out in the browser. Now let's add the logic for processing the form. I'll create the store method public async store.
we will pull in request and response. To create records in the database, we can either make use of the save method or the create method. I will be using the create method. First, let's pull in the task model. Import task from app slash models slash task. Then we can make use of it. Await task dot create. This accepts an object containing the columns defined on the model. Title will be request dot impute title. This will assign the value of the title impute feed to the title property on the model. The create method will return an instance of the model, so we can save it to a variable. But for our use case, we are not making use of the model instance, so I'm going to get rid of this. Finally, we will redirect back to the page. Return response dot redirect back. Let's head over to the browser and try creating our first task. Oops, invalid CSRF token. We are getting this error because Adonis JS is now protecting us against cross-site request forgery. To solve this, all we need to do is add a CSRF token to the form. Shield provides a handy global helper we can use for that. Which is CSRF field. Let's head back to the browser. Now if we check the source of our page, we should see that an hidden field has been added to the form containing the CSRF token. So let's try creating that task again. As expected, we are directed back to the page. Let's take a look at our database to see if the task has been added. And it has. 